Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm gonna do something a little fun. Um, I'm gonna create little canvases, like little art, uh, floral canvas, uh, uh, flower art, let's call it. Um, I went to the craft store the other day and uh, I was trying to figure out like, what can I shoot for you guys that's a little creative and fun? I'm gonna take these canvases that I found from the craft store. They've already, um, it, it's already like a nice matte um, canvas. And I've taken some acrylic paint, which um, I will take right now. And I'm gonna paint one, um, one of them. And uh, I've already pre-painted uh, the three canvases and I did them in three colors. I did it in white, gray, and black. Um, I wanna show you the same exact flowers on three different coloration on the canvas. Uh, and I'm using only uh, Billy Buttons and uh, Pussy Willow. Um, this is a natural Pussy Willow, which has a gray uh, tint to it. I'm gonna use these two um, flowers. They dry up well. This is why I chose these flowers. I don't have to worry about them. And then I'm gonna use two more things. Um, not two more things. This is a tool. But I'm gonna use a, dry, uh, a cold glue. Uh, you don't want this to be with air, because when you have it with air, uh, it dries, dries up the glue faster. This is a cold adhesive glue that I'm gonna use and adhere to the dried flowers. So let me go ahead and start painting this. I'm gonna take the gray paint. I have a little dish right here. I have these disposable, spongy. And I'm going to do north and south movement on my canvas. I'm not gonna do an east and west, and if you decide to e do east and west, that's fine. Uh, just make sure you consistently do the same strokes because you don't want it to be different. different. I'm gonna do the whole canvas in this gray. And if you wanna dilute it, you can actually mix it with water, or if you want it darker, you can, you know, mix up this, if you want it lighter gray, you can mix it in white. And what I would do is I would do like one or two quote, coats on it. And continuously stroke that like this, north to south or south to north, whatever you decide to do. I'm gonna let this one dry up and I'm gonna start on the canvas. I'll let this side dry first and then I'm gonna go and do a second layer. But the magic of television or the magic of producing your own videos, you've got one pre-done. So I'm gonna put this aside and take this paint and basically they're all painted, three of them. I'm gonna go back to this Billy Buttons and I'm gonna cut the heads off of it. And these are gonna dry up beautifully. These are fresh. You'll see a discoloration of the yellow would be a little bit more, not on brown, but it'll start getting, it won't get as vibrant coloration like the yellow, so it'll start getting a little more in the earthy tone. But these are one of the flowers that, once they dry up, they're still beautiful. And there's a lot of flowers that dry up really well. And then I'm gonna take the Pussy Willow and I'm gonna strip this down like this. These Pussy Willow, they look like bunny tails. They're around during springtime. What I like about this is you can do it in advance. Um, you can give it to someone as a gift. And it's not always, you know, it's not always doing projects that has to be for the holidays. It can be for someone that, it's just a nice gesture they've done for you. Or if this is something that is like a craft hobby thing for you, you can start signing them off and selling them. I think I've got enough pussy willow. And I'm gonna push this away. I'm gonna take my pieces and I'm gonna lay. So I'm gonna do this, the white canvas, the gray canvas, 
and the black canvas, and I'm gonna put it next to each other. And basically, I'm gonna start with the pussy willow. And I'm gonna do a dab of this glue. That's a lot. You have to be really careful, because if you start getting, you have to blow it a little bit. What that does, it makes the um, adhesive more tacky and it's better to, to stay. Maybe I should do this. So by the time I go back into with the Pussy Willow, it'll be a little bit more adhesive. And it's gonna be the same materials, you're gonna use the same materials, but since you're doing it in three different colors, it's gonna look differently on each and every one of them. And there's the ice cream truck. Da 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 I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the Billy Buttons. This one, I'm gonna put the glue on, let it settle for a couple of seconds, and then I'm gonna do this so it becomes tacky. And then I'm gonna repeat this several times. Isn't this turning out stunning? I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna put all the belly buttons. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. I put more glue than I should have. You have to be very careful because it's very liquidy and it's fresh. Are you guys bored? It's boring this one. It's okay. So I'm always fascinated by art um, and I'm not a good painter. So um, I thought since I'm an artist and I do a lot of botanical art, meaning, you know, I choose flowers as my um, form of expression. Um, I thought since I can't draw for the life of me, I thought I can do this botanical art and I can share, share with you what my art is. And we've got a couple Billy Buttons left. You know, um, you can certainly get inspired um, by going to museums and look at, looking at, like for me, if you look at this from far away, it looks like it's modern art, right? Um, and I didn't purposely, it's not all on the same field, um, it's different, two different types of materials on the same canvas. I mean, I think that in itself looks like a piece of art for me. You can continuously do more if you like to. Like, I like the presentation it has right now. I might end up doing one or two, like down here and some down here and maybe some up here. And I'm gonna add a couple right here, just because aesthetically I think this looks nice, you know? And I am working on something really, really exciting in the future um, that I actually don't want to um, talk about, but it has to do with uh, my presentation of what uh, uh, my world of a museum would be, right? So uh, keep, keep, you know, Stay tuned, I'll, I'll, I'll do announcements on my show, social media. It's, it's a really fun project that I'm working on, amongst the other things that I'm working on constantly, right? Like I have a full-time job that I do, I create all these events, um, 
you know, I have interior, uh, uh, I do spaces all the time. Like I just remodeled my office um, recently. Um, working on a couple of really exciting projects and also like I'm working on this cool concept that you'll, uh, will find out like in a couple of months uh, where that is going. Um, and I'm also gonna go live on YouTube pretty soon, so watch out for that, and I also will schedule it and let you guys all know. But let me put this in a, uh, in a way that I would present this to a client and come back and, and finish this off for you on the table and talk about some exciting stuff, yes? As you can see, these floral art canvases can be created by anyone. Just pick out your materials, you can even do it with buttons or uh, little trinkets that you have. I happen to use some uh, fresh flowers that dry up really well. Again, thank you so much for tuning in on this video. I hope this inspired you. I hope you're following me on social media and all the social medias that I have, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Uh, please make your comments, give me your suggestions. Watch out for all new things that I come up with on my social media. Again, I am blessed. Thank you and peace out.